Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. So for this load development, I'll be shooting 6.5 Creedmoor using Alpha once fired brass. And the test is going to be that I will be shooting two five shot groups with different primers. I will be using Winchester 41 small rifle primers, Magtech Federal AR gold medal match primers, CCI 450, and Gen X. For 556. Five, so, for the loads that I'll be shooting, I went and looked back at several targets that I had, and using a 140 Sierra Match King, I had a group at 40.7 grains of powder of 0.44 inches extreme spread with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.32. On a previous target, I was shooting a 140 ELD match, and at 40.7 grains, I had a group of 0.51 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.39 inches. I did a comparison also between the 140 Sierra Match King and the 140 ELD match, and I had a good group at 41.1 at 0.54 inches. And at 40.7 grains, it didn't do so well, but this was my cold barrel shot. I had an extreme spread of 1.54, although this was the very first shot. And then the rest of them grouped at 0.73. And then my second group with the ELD match was at 0.89. Then I had a load development where I was doing a seeding depth test using a 140 grain Sierra Match King. These were all shot at 40.7 grains and my best grouping was at 20 thousandths off of the lands. I had groups of 0.68 with the best variety of 5 at 0.56 and I had another group at 0.56 with the best variety of 5 at 0.47 and then I had a test where I was checking a Berger 140 grain VLD bullet and at 40.7 grains I had a group of 0.68 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.41. 41.5 grouped well is also I had a group there at 0.53 but when I compare these I had um, at 40.7, I had groups of 0 0.44, 0.78, 0.51, 0.68, 0.68, and 5.6. At 41.5, I had groups of 58 and 74. At 41.1, I had groups of 54 and 101. I've had the most experience and best results with 40.7, and of course, I've got more data to compare here. And comparing all of those at 40.7, they averaged a 0.61 group size. 41.5 was 0.66, 41.1 was 0.78. So we're going to go with 40.7 grains of Hodgson's H4350 powder, and we're going to load the Sierra Match King bullets, and we're going to test five different primers using the same bullet, the same charge weight, and we're going to compare the results of these five primers. I used my little Hornady digital pocket scale to weigh all of the cases, and so I have sorted them from lightest to heaviest. So all of the lightest cases are grouped together, and then increasing medium, and then the heavier cases. They were like 162.1, to 162.9 and I think there were a couple at 163 grains but this is because the internal volume will be different 
The purpose is to add consistency to the reloading process. So now it's time to seat the primers. The first ones I'll be loading are the Winchester 41 small rifle primers. And so I had this little bullet case when I have extra primers. They come in boxes of 100, and I typically load 50 at a time. So when I have some left over, I'll put them in uh, a little plastic bullet box. I'm only going to be loading 10. So I'll put them into the tray. I'll be using the Frankfurt Arsenal handheld priming tool. Cover slips on like that already have the case holder for the 6.5 Creedmoor in there. I insert the tray. I open this little door. And that allows the primers to drop into the feeding tube. So I'm going to start at row 1. So the first row is done. I let the primers fall back into the holder. And then I empty them back into the bullet container. Next row is MagTech. So again, I'm only loading 10. So I don't have to put them all in there. Turn them over. Reinsert the cover. Reinsert the tray into the priming tool. And we start on the second row. And we'll continue doing this until the primers for all 50 have been seated. So all of the cases have been primed and they are organized by row and they will be packaged up by row to keep them separate. So I've got Winchester 41 MagTech. Federal Gold Metal AR Match Primer, CCI 450 Magnum, and Gen X. All right, so we've got our scale set for 40.7 grains of powder. We have our RCBS Uniflow powder measure filled. We think we've got the charge set pretty close. Most of them are dispensing a little bit under the weight. And then we're using the trickler to bring it up. Occasionally, one will be a little on the heavy side. That's why we're not dispensing directly into the case. Because this uh, extruded powder, sometimes it will create like a jam in there between the, uh, the powder drum and the dispenser. And... Invariably, when that happens, it will come out a little bit on the heavy side when it's a little hard to run that lever. So we drop the charge. We, just, we throw a charge into the tray. We weigh it out. This one's just a little on the light side. So we're going to reuse the trickler. And bring it up to where it's exactly 40.7. Drop the charge. Move the funnel. And repeat. And we're going to do this for all 50 cases. They're all going to be charged at 40.7 grains. The only difference in this load is going to be the primers. The bullets, the cases, the powder, the charge weight is all the same. So there we go.
drop the charge, move the funnel. So now it's time to seat the bullets. I have them all laid out on this towel and I've turned them all the same direction so they're a little easier to pick up. The recommended overall length is 2.80 inches. And so this is coming in at 2.80 and a half. That's close enough. So I'm going to seat these all the same. And that measurement just happens to also be 20 thousandths off of the lens, which is the sweet spot for this rifle. So we're going to seat all these. And then we'll be ready to take them to the range and test them out and see which primers are going to perform the best. All right, so we have 50 rounds all loaded up, ready to go. Sierra Match King 140 grain boat tail hollow point bullets. Alpha one-time fired brass, and we are using Winchester 41 Mag Tech Federal Gold Medal AR CCI 450 and Gen X primers. We will take these to the range and see how they compare, and I will let you know. So to recap, the purpose of today's video is we're going to be testing five different rifle primers. We're shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor. We'll be shooting 40.7 grains of Hodgson's H4350 powder with a 140 grain Sierra Match King bullet. We'll be testing five rifle primers. We'll be testing a Winchester 41, a Magtech. Federal Gold Metal AR Match Primers, CCI 450 Magnum Primers, and Gen X Small Rifle Primers. We'll be shooting two five-shot groups with each primer, all at the same charge weight, same powder, same bullet, just to see which of these primers actually groups the best for us. So let's send the target down, and we'll get started. You're welcome to watch me fast forward through my shooting. And we'll look at the results at the end, or you can fast forward on to the results if you prefer. All right, let's bring them in and take a look. All right, these all seem to have grouped very similarly. This was my coal barrel shot with the Winchester 41. 
and this is definitely my best group here. Can't tell what that is, but I believe that's probably a half inch or under. Magtech group pretty well. Federal gold metal AR grouped really well on my first group. The second group was a little scattered. I would attribute that to shooter here. CCI 450. Group similarly both times in the Gen X seem to be the largest but we will take these home measure them and see how they compare okay here are my results from the range today just to give a brief recap this was a primer test comparing five different primers on a 6.5 Creedmoor using a 140 grain Sierra Match King bullet with 40.7 grains of Hodgdon's H4350 powder, shooting at 100 yards. We were shooting Winchester 41, Magtech, Federal Gold Medal AR Match Primers, CCI 450 Magnum Primers, and Gen X Small Rifle Primers. It's uh, interesting, the results that we got here. It sort of went as expected in some ways. And in other ways, maybe not so much. Um, on this first shot, I started off, and, and by the way, I'm shooting two five-shot groups with each primer. So this was my first target with Winchester 41 primers. This was my first shot, my coal barrel shot, and it was way off. And then my next four shots were grouped fairly well together together at 0.51 inches and the bottom of the dot is my point of aim so that's where I was aiming that's where the rifle was shooting so what I did is on my next group I adjusted the scope up one click and two clicks to the right and that gave me uh, not just a better grouping this was, of course, after the coal barrel shot here, but it got me a little bit closer to my aiming point, which was the bottom of that circle, but I was really amazed here because I got a group of 0.36 inches. This is basically all one ragged hole right here, and the best four out of five, they were so close together, it measured 0.35. So after that, I adjusted the scope up one click, then we moved on to MagTech primers, and we had an extreme spread of 0.58 inches, and the best 4 out of 5 at 0.46. So the gun's getting warmed up now, and I think it's showing us what it's capable of. The second group of MagTech had a 0.83 extreme spread with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.65. Then on the Federal Gold Medal AR match primer, I had an extreme spread here of 0.54 inches, which I thought was excellent, and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.46. The second group spread out a little. I'm sure we can attribute this to shooter error, but I had an extreme spread of 0.83, and the best 4 out of 5 measured 0.73 inches. The CCI 450 Magnum Primer, I expected those to do pretty well. We had an extreme spread of 0.66 inches and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.54. On the second group, we had an extreme spread of 0.71 and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.39. And then Gen X, I really didn't expect to do very well. I've never heard of that brand. I guess they're kind of an off brand. I picked these up at a gun show. They were 10 cents a piece, so I bought um, 500 of them for 50 bucks. Uh, but I wanted to test them, and they grouped at 0.98 inches with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.68, and then the second group was at 0.90 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.65. So overall, I'm going to say that Winchester number 41 is the winner here because after this gun got warmed up, I had a .36 and they were 
clustered together there. And the best fry out of five is 0 0.35. They were so close together. Uh, runner up would be Federal Gold Medal AR Match Primers, where I had a group of 0.54 with the best fry out of five at 0.46. Not sure what happened here, why this one opened up, but maybe I was tired, distracted, not breathing properly, and who knows, whatever. Difference in the case, weight, I have no idea. But uh, anyway, still very pleased with this 0.54 group. And uh, the CCI 450, of course, was very consistent at 66 and 71. The best 4 out of 5 at 5, 4, and 3, 9. So let's look how they averaged out since I was shooting two groups of each charge. I went back and I averaged the numbers. And on the Winchester 41, the average extreme spread was 0.85 and the best 4 out of 5 averaged 0.43. And that was my best of the day uh, as far as that best 4 out of 5. The, the coal barrel shot here threw that number off. If you were to, this is what I would really count on this, because that coal barrel shot, you know it's going to be off. But then the next four out of five grouped really well together at 0.51 inches, which without that coal barrel shot, that would bring that number way down. That would bring that number down into the fours. Uh, so, okay, the um, Magtech our best four out of, excuse me, our extreme spread was 0.71 with a best four out of five at 0.56. Federal gold medal AR match primers averaged an extreme spread of 0.69 and the best four out of five at 6.0. The CCI 450 averaged 0.69 on the extreme spread and 0.47 best four out of five. And then Gen X had an extreme spread average of 0.94 and a best 4 out of 5 at 0.67. So overall, the Winchester 41 performed best on the 4 out of 5 at 0.43 inches. And Federal Gold Medal and CCI 450 uh, matched each other on the extreme spread. But on the best 4 out of 5, CCI had the lower score at 0.47. And that's because on the federal gold medal, even though you had a best fry of five at 0.73, you had a, a you had an extreme spread of 8.3, but on that first group it was 5.4, and that extreme spread there pulled that average way down. Otherwise, the federal gold medal AR had an excellent group here. So there you have it. There's my analysis of these primers. I'm probably going to favor the Winchester 41 and um, the Federal Gold Medal and probably the CCI 450. I've got a box of Magtech and I've still got a bunch of Gen X to use, but I'll probably use those for plinking ammo. All right, thanks for watching. As always, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below. Always appreciate your input, and I try to respond to everybody that leaves a comment. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.